What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host of course, and today Apple has released another macOS update and the one we're talking about today is 11.4 RC, also known as Release Candidate. It was released today and it comes one week after 11.4 Beta 3 and for me on my 2016 15-inch MVP, the update size was kind of reasonable and it came in at exactly 2.72 gig updating from 11.4 Beta 3. Now if we go to see the system storage or actually first the build number that came with this update, you can see the new build number that we have here and it's 20F71. So that depicts a final build and also if we go to see uh, the storage that's being taken up by this update you can see it there and it's taken up 16.47 gig which is reasonable and now let's go and on and talk about the new features and changes that came with macOS Big Sur 11.4 the first one that I have to get out the way since so many people are requesting that I talk about this or are asking if it came to macOS Big Sur 11.4 has to do with special audio with Dolby Atmos and lossless audio which are not listed in the patch notes of macOS Pixel 11.4 those are going to be coming to Apple Music at no cost starting in June and time will be able to tell whether they are going to be coming also to macOS Pixel or the next macOS version that we are going to have in June but as of now they are not yet available on macOS and the patch notes don't mention anything with regards to that now also another change that came with macOS Pixel 11.4 has to do with the AMD Navi RDNA 2 architecture support so it supports the 6800 6800 XT and 6900 XT however the release notes of this update didn't mention the more expensive bigger brother 6700 XT so perhaps support for that hasn't yet been added fully and will be added in a future update but those ones are supported 6800 all the way to 6900 XT now another change that came to this update has to do with Apple podcast subscriptions which are now available via a monthly and an annual subscription so this is not yet actually here fully within the podcast app but if you click on your profile within the podcast application you'll be able to see a section that says subscriptions now for me it loaded up blank but in future you can see that this is something that's in transition and apple has been mentioning it in the notes of macOS pixel 11.4 and you'll be able to see channels grouped together collections and shows from podcast creators like men behind the hype and so on Another change that came with macOS Pixel 11.4, especially if you code or are a developer, has to do with Xcode deprecations. So when depicting the minimum release of macOS in which your apps run, do not use minimum OS version. That was what was being used before. Instead, you want to use LS minimum system version. This also includes apps built and developed with Mac Catalyst. Also, another change that came with this update has to do with support for the new Apple Magic Keyboard, the one that was released with the new iMacs with the fingerprint sensor. So it's supported with this update and also the new 2021 IMAX Hello Screen Saver is supported with this update. So that is going to be something that perhaps going to be exclusive for the new IMAX. I looked into the system preferences of my updates here after I updated and under Screen Saver, I actually didn't see the new Hello Screen Saver, but there's a ton of videos on YouTube that can guide you if you want to get that new hello screen saver but it's going to be coming to the new imax and also the new find my network is supported with macOS pixel 11.4 as well as air tags you can get directions if you go into the find my application and get 
specific directions to your air tag although the functionality is still a little bit limited in my opinion if you compare it to the other things that you can do on ios 14.6 hopefully in the next update they can up their game when it comes to find my on the mac a little bit also another change that i would like to highlight if you go into system preferences and then go to general you can see here where you have a highlight color mine at the moment is red but with the new imax that just came out in 2021 you have a new update or a new section that says this max since those imax came in a variety of colors that will mean that the highlight color will be the same as that of your iMac so that's something that's good and that came with this update and also this update fixes quite a number of issues or bugs that were there previously so let's go on and talk about those the first one has to do with bookmarks in Safari where they may get reordered or moved into a folder that appears to be hidden so that bug has been fixed and the other bug that was addressed has to do with certain websites that were not loading or displaying correctly after waking your mark from sleep so you might just close your lid and then you open up your mark a few hours or few minutes later and then the websites that you were at might not display properly so that has been fixed and also this update fixes an issue where keywords may not be included when exporting a photo from the photos app so these keywords may include timestamps dates or names so those have been uh, resolved and if you export a photo you should be able to see the exported information alongside the photo or image and the other thing that was fixed has to do with preview so preview may become unresponsive when searching for pdf documents that issue has also been addressed with this update and for the 16 inch macbook pro this update fixes an issue where it may become unresponsive when playing civilization 6 so if you play that now this update resolves the unresponsive issue and also i got positive feedback over on twitter from about two people that mentioned that safari is a little bit stable it's not as laggy as it was and it's not crashing time and again now those are the new features as well as new changes that came with macOS pixel 11.4 if you like this video a like will be good and the sub will be even better when it comes to when this update could be released you can see that today is actually may the 17th so perhaps later on in the week if apple pushes this update fast like it's been doing with mac os pixel 11.4 because this this is a quick release beta we only got up to like 11.4 beta 3 and now we have the release candidate so probably by end of week we perhaps on thursday 20th of may we could have the official version and if not then definitely next week on the week of the 24th no doubt we'll be seeing this update by latest now basically that's how this update came in for me let us not forget that wwdc is a few weeks away it's going to start from june 7th to june 11th and that is when we are going to get the next big revolutionized mac os update i'm pretty sure they are going to call it mac os 12 and adopt a whole full number just like what we saw with big Sur being mac os 11 so that is a few weeks away and i'm going to be covering those from the first beta up to when it's available to everyone now stay safe guys and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace